Hello Leo, this is Steph at Finding You Tarot and this is your weekly reading for the 23rd to the 29th of October 2023. This is a general reading so it can't resonate for everyone so only take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest to someone else. I read for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus so check out your other placements if you're interested and I do have personal readings open um, so if you want one all the details are in the description box below. All right, let's have a look at the energies. Leo, if you do like this reading, um, it would be fantastic if uh, you could like or even subscribe to the channel. It would really help with engagement and, and, and help beat the really difficult algorithm. So let's have a look at your energy for the coming week. We do have a full moon eclipse in Taurus on Saturday the 28th so um, there could be some really strong energies towards the weekend so, this one. okay so we have the page of pentacles to start the emperor so Aries energy The Eight of Wands. Been really drawn to the Emperor's uh, armor. Oh, the Five of Pentacles in the past position. Okay. Leo, that's interesting because um, I've just done Aries reading and obviously the Emperor has shown up here as well. But I've but this Five of Pentacles showed up in the same position. So if you have any Aries placements, it might be worth having a look at that reading too. Okay, so the Four of Pentacles is what you're going into. Okay. I think a lot of people are thinking about their security and stability. The readings feel very much about that this week. And I think there's a lot of uncertainty around security. And I mean, of course, you know, globally, there are a lot of fears for a lot of people. Um, we have, you know, two major wars going on, but we also have difficult financial circumstances across the world. It's okay. Okay, right, yeah. Okay, so we have the, the nine of pentacles as spirit's advice for you um yeah this do you know leo this to me this feels as though this is about your your feelings of of um stability and also i think what your it feels to me as though <laughs> at the moment what you might have is not very much but you're 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 kind of scared to lose what it is that you do have um, and so I think it, that might be acting as a bit of a barrier to you moving forward into something that actually could be really rather beautiful for you. If I place um, this Ace of Pentacles, which is, you know, it's, it's a smallish card. Sorry, it's a, it's a smallish pentacle with this page. So it's not a it's not a big thing. But if I place it next to Spirit's Advice, which is the nine, we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is is material security and success and amongst other things but you know it does, it's, it is what what it represents but I think there's this is a bit of a warning um here because with this emperor here the emperor represents um sort of stability and security but I'm getting a rather stubborn energy uh, uh, from him and I'm you know and 
the four of pentacles is also a rather stubborn energy as well so i feel as though spirit is saying to you there is an that looks to me here as though there is an opportunity for you coming forward if it hasn't already but it feels it feels as though it's soon because we have the eight of wands in the underlying energies um, and you might need to make quite a fast decision about it but therein lies the problem I feel as though you're in a in a slightly stubborn, stubborn kind of, oh, no, I don't want to have to make a choice. I don't want to do this. I'm like, I'm just going to stick with what I've got. And because you because you don't think that whatever this is big enough for you, you don't you're not seeing the potential in it but there is there is a lot of potential in it um you know a four is not as much as a nine <laughs> and you know i just saw zero six zero six on the clock as i said that um so i it it, it feels as though you i i don't want you leo to miss an opportunity here and that's what it's feeling like to me as though your your need to to it's it's almost like you're you're persuading yourself that you are secure in a situation where you have no security and you know i i understand that i completely get it I really get it um but it is it, it is a situation where you can't if if you if if you linger over an opportunity that comes forward for you if you dither over it if you delay over it if you dig your heels in because you think it's not big enough you will miss that opportunity and what you will miss is is an opportunity to, for abundance the nine of pentacles is um is pre-empress energy um and so and she has more than enough you know she's she's got this here and this she could even afford to lose some here you know she's got three pentacles that she's not keeping her hand on that that she's just got by her side and you know whatever happens to them happens whereas this chap here is like i'm just clinging on to everything um you know and so i feel as though what you're doing here leo is clinging on to diminishing resources in the hope that they will stop diminishing when actually there is an opportunity for growth here for you which is coming in very very quickly but will also require a really quick decision from you i just saw 0808 on the clock as well so you know you will be required to make a fast decision which you will feel very uncomfortable about making but there is but this this opportunity is bigger than you think it is and it can lead you to that place of you know of of security and stability that you were you are not going to find here you're not going to find by clinging on to diminishing resources you can't that's you know that that but you know when we have when we are in lack you know it is it is very easy to try to cling on to those things that we're was that 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 we still have as we're losing you know as other stuff is going out of the door um so i do understand it but it is the wrong mindset to be taking in this situation because as i say there is an opportunity coming forward for you which is is going to i mean it Yeah, and I'm being told to point out to you that while he is sitting here, you know, guarding his money and clinging on to his money, he is not seeing all of the opportunities that are behind him. In fact, he has actively turned his back on them. Um, and so this is the this this is what spirit does not want you to do. Um, you know, spirit wants to get you into an energy where you feel um, financial flow rather than financial um uh, stagnation um you know the the whole it's it's it, it's this mindset uh -huh. yeah thanks spirit um but it's this mindset that you know means 
when when you are clinging on to what you have that's the mindset that stops you know all of your kind of law of attraction mantras from working because you don't really believe in the flow of the energy because what you're literally physically doing is clinging on to your resources so there is a bit of an easing required here an energetic easing and a trust as well um but you know change is coming for you um you know and and, and the and i feel as though yeah i'm i'm, I'm being asked to say cuz i think um the other card that has a zebra in it in the wisdom of the oracle is the chaos and conflict card and so and and i'm being so i'm being flashed that in my mind's eye so it could be that again as i say it, there is a there's there's a fast moving energy coming in here and really spirit's messages don't resist it don't resist it even if it feels a bit chaotic even if it feels a bit kind of i don't want to move this this fast because i am seeing some resistance here from you but you know but this is for you this is not this is not something that's being done to you it is for you it is to get you into a much more um empowered place materially um and 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 in terms of your overall stability and security so leo i'm going to leave it there um I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, as I say, it'd be great if you could like, share and subscribe. And um, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.